inequality. This video will cover the topic, Solving a Quadratic Inequality. Let's work through a couple example problems to get a hang of this topic. Graph the solution to the following inequality on the number line. x squared minus 6x is greater than or equal to negative 8. How do we start these types of problems? First, we'll rewrite the inequality so that one side contains only 0 and the coefficient of the x squared term is positive. Our inequality now looks like this. x squared minus 6x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 0. Next, we will factor the quadratic on the left side of the inequality. And this results in x minus 2 times x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. Correct. And to solve this inequality, we need to find all of the values of x that make the product of x minus 2 times x minus 4 positive or equal to 0. We'll do a sign analysis to determine this. What's a sign analysis? Good question. In a sign analysis, we'll examine the value of each factored expression at different points on the number line. Let's first look at a sign analysis for x minus 2. If x equals 2, then x minus 2 is 0. If x is less than 2, then x minus 2 is a negative number. If x is greater than 2, then x minus 2 is a positive number. We can represent this on a number line as follows. Next, we will look at the sign of x minus 4. If x equals 4, then x minus 4 is 0. If x is less than 4, then x minus 4 is a negative number. If x is greater than 4, then x minus 4 is a positive number. This can be represented on a number line as follows. Finally, to find the sign of x minus 2 times x minus 4, we use the rules for the sign of a product. This results in x minus 2 times x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 when x is less than or equal to 2 and x is greater than or equal to 4. We can graph this like so. Let me make sure I understand this correctly. When solving a quadratic inequality, we first rewrite the inequality to get 0 on one side of the inequality and a positive coefficient of the x squared term on the other side. Next, we factor the quadratic expression. Then, we do a sign analysis and graph a number line reflective of our findings. That is correct. Great work!